Welcome to my new viewers, to my subscribers, welcome back. My name is Mike. This is my channel where I look at, review, and try different crap strategies. Thanks for joining. Welcome back to my channel. Had a, uh, a comment on a, uh, on a video that I posted yesterday. I was laddering the 4 and 10 and I was uh, doing it at a $10 table. And someone asked if we could do it at a $15 table. So I thought, let's let's just create one table, one um, summary that has the various, the different size tables. So on the right-hand side, you'll see that I've created the rules of the laddering, the 4 and 10. Only three rules. And then I have four different table sizes. I have a bubble craps. I have a $5 table, a $10 table, and a $15 table. Yesterday I played it and I said it was at a $10 table and really what it was was I started at $10 but I incremented by five. So was it truly a $10 table? I guess it was, but um, I think the intent was if you're gonna play it at a $5 table, you increment your ladder sizes by five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. If you're playing it at a $10 table, increment your ladder sizes by 10. So here it'd be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then if you're going to try at a $15 table, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. I even put an extra step in here. Don't know if I'll need it or not. Don't know if I've got enough money at the uh, bubble crap simulator to try this or not. So maybe I'll just take this one out. Bear with me one second. We'll just delete that row. Okay, so we'll use this table. I'm going to play on the crapsy. I'll play on the free table. I'm going to go to the $15 minimum, $5,000 maximum, $1,500 table size. So I only have $1,500, so I could run out of run out of chips pretty quickly. But let me go ahead and turn my bets on and lock them in. That's rule number one. I'm also going to play on the turbo mode. And let's go ahead and set up at the $15 level. So if I turn my six and eight on, yeah, it's going to put 18. It's going to cap my six and eight. Okay, so there's the $15 inside. I need $75 on the four and 10. Don't know how this is going to go, but let's give this a try. Okay, there's the four, so I ladder down on the four and ten. I'm at I'm at step one. I can't go down anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and collect. So really, I'm not going to do anything except collect and roll until I see a seven. Okay, there's an eight. There's a five, there's a 10, another, another number that I would uh, ladder down on. There's the four, I would ladder down on it. That's the point, I'm, I've got my, my, uh, my bets are working, so we're gonna keep going. There's a nine. Waylon put a comment in my video yesterday and he said, that what he does is he watches the table and if the four or 10 doesn't show up at the table for some time, for quite some time, that's his key to jump in. That's, that's when he decides to get in there because he, he figures with the role distribution, the, the laws of numbers, that uh, four and 10 will be coming eventually. So if he's sitting and watching and he hasn't seen it for a while, He'll jump in. Jump in and also determine what your exit strategy is. How long are you going to stay? Um, if, it's a, if it's a roll like I'm doing now where I'm not rolling any sevens and I'm just collecting, yeah, if I, if I get to $1,000, I might just uh, color up and go to the cage. But for the purpose of this video, I'd like to at least go up the ladder a few rungs and back down to see how this is going to work. So I am at roll 12, or I've 
rolled 12 times. This is roll 13. And I'm still rolling the tens and the fours, which are giving me some nice paydays. I've rolled the 10 three times. I've rolled the four three times. So that really, uh, on the $75 bet, that's some serious money. So I'm at $1,000. If I was at the casino, I'd be, uh, I'd be having uh, dinner now. I'd be cashing out and going to the, the, the steakhouse. But let's keep going here. If I roll 30 times without a 7, I would be very happy. Well, there we go. There's a 7. So, we finally rolled a 7. We can now go to step 2. Step 2 is $30 on the inside. So, let's try $30. And 150 on the outside. On the four and ten, I should say. Okay. All right. Now, if I roll a four or ten, I'm going to ladder back down to step one. And if I roll a seven, I'm going to ladder up. So I'm looking for fours, sevens, and tens. Okay, there's the seven. So I'm going to ladder up. The next level is $45. Let's at least get, there's 45, 48, okay, 45, and 225. On the four and 10, okay? Okay, there's a 12. Really, I need a, I need a 4 or a 10. There's an 8. There's a 6. A 9. Give me a 4 or a 10. There's a 6. Look at that. There's a 10. So the 10, that $225 bet, paid me $439. Now, the 10... 10 says I'm going to ladder down. So I'm at step three. I'm going to go down to step two. So I'm just going to take these off so I don't screw it up. I'm going to put $30 on the inside, like step two says, and $150 on the four and 10. $150 and $30. I'm at step two. Okay, there's a six. Twelve's no help. There's a seven out. So I'm going back up to step three. Forty-five dollars. Forty-five on the inside. Two twenty-five. Okay. There's a seven out. I've got to go to step four. Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars inside, three hundred. I think that looks right. Sixty on the inside, three hundred on the four and ten. There's a nine, a six, there's a five, I need a four or a ten. Looky there, there's a ten. That helps. We go down. We're going back down to level three. So just take these down. Level three is at $45. Okay, forty-five dollars, and four and ten is two twenty-five. Okay, 
and right away I hit a 10. So now I'm coming back down the ladder. Okay, so I was at ladder three. I'm going down to step two. $30 on the inside. One fifty on the four and the ten, and we're at thirty-five rolls. So let's uh, let's either get a seven, a four, or a ten, and then we'll check our results. There's an eight, another eight, and there's a seven out. Okay, so thirty-eight rolls. Our distribution looks pretty darn normal except for that 10 that 10 went very high but everything else looks like it's in line and we started with uh, $1,500 we ended with 2807 that's a profit of 1307 that's using a $15 increments on the steps and then five times that on the four and ten so this is a good uh, this is a good table I think I'd like to have on my phone. So if I'm sitting at the table and it looks like things are going very well, I may want to increase my bets up, take advantage of it, or or who knows? We'll see how it goes. But um, thanks for the comment. Um, this was the fifteen dollar size bet size, and uh, Waylon, I'll take your advice. If I try it, I'll sit and watch. And if I don't see a 4 or 10 for a dozen or two rolls, maybe that's my time to, that's my entry point to get in. But uh, also need to set that exit point. Don't play forever. The longer you play, you eventually give it all to the casino. So set your exit strategy and uh, walk away with a nice profit. Go and enjoy a nice dinner. So that's the, uh, that's the video for this morning. I hope everyone's having a good day. Again, thanks for watching. Please continue with the comments. And um, we'll, we'll talk again on the next one. Have a good day.